Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Take five. Alright, this is the fifth time I've tried to do cut the tape this week. First, I tried with the Seacons, the Generation Select, Hasbro, Pulse, Takara, at AOL.com exclusives. That turned into a big hassle because there's six of them, and I'm particular about the packaging with them. Then I tried, so here, you know, here's Golf. This is the super secret manga transformation. So then I start filming again and kid number one comes down and has a conversation with me. Take three, kid number two comes down and has a conversation with me. Take four, I try Repugnus. This just seems backwards to me. Like, why would I pull it up? I feel like I should push it down to activate this. Like, the mechanism seems weird. But, uh, okay, and then kid number two comes back down again. So, um, I'm just gonna do something else. I'm just gonna do something else. I, I will say that's very G1 inspired, but, yeah. A lot of repugnance this year. It's the year of repugnance. We got the headmaster. We got the generation select. We got the Bumblebee, Cyberverse, Allspark, War for the Battle of Cybertron Adventure one. And there's like a like a gift set coming out now at Target. So a lot of a lot of repugnance going on this year. So I thought, you know what? I just got, I gotta keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it to one thing. I fed the kids, so hopefully they're eating right now. MP44. Cybertron leader. This is Leo Convoy from Beast Wars 2. It's crazy. I never thought we'd see a masterpiece figure of him. Like, I thought, all right. At some point, we'll probably see a Masterpiece RC, but we're not going to see a Masterpiece Leo Convoy. But here we are. So, let's give it a go. Mmm. Oh, I love that. I wish I could bottle that fragrance and just like anytime like you don't have cash and you don't have the ability to buy something you just get a little spritz <sighs> oh beautiful all right so the first thing we're gonna do is check the box for spiders all right there better not be any spiders when I take this out of the box So here he is. Uh, I did not get this from uh, Le Pulse. I got this from BBTS, Big Bad Toy Store. And it still comes in a slip box. Because I was commenting earlier that, you know, the first time I was trying to film this, that this is a box, right? This guy comes in a box. And then. Inside the box, there's a box with a sleeve. And then you open that, and then there's, you know, like the box. So I had a whole, like, spiel about that. So Leo Convoy, here we are. 
He's got Leo Beam, Leo Missile, another Leo Missile, a Cybertron Buster, which is like a blaster. He's got a Rear View, a Lion Claw. He's got Holder Parts. He's got Energon Matrix. Oh, it looks like that lights up. The little, the breast matrix, I don't know, titty matrix, I don't know what you call that. He's got a Leo Vent, Leo Typhoon, and Leg Nozzle. So that's, that's all the things on the back of the package that it says he comes with. He comes with rear view. It's where he comes with face. He comes with face. It says it on there, it's weird. It comes with face. He comes with face. No robot points. Come on, for what you paid for this, the least they can do is throw in some goddamn robot points. All right. We have a much bigger instruction set. These instructions are in color and appear to be in English. Enough English on it. Comes with a card. Let's open this up and see what it's all about. Duh. Okay. Comes with a card. Take this to the casino, see how well I do with that. And he comes with his instructions. Oh, what a cock tease. Black and white, but this side's color. So the actual side that, it's not even pictures of the toy, it's images of the CAD file, positioned in certain ways to transform him. And then again, it's just reproducing the back of the box here. And I guess this side is telling you how each of the features work, the Leo Beam, the Leo Missile, Leo Claw, Cybertron Buster, and Le Leo Vute. It's View of a T. Leo Vute. I guess it's a tail weapon? I, have, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. But here he is in all his glory. And uh, we'll probably get a black version, and we'll probably get a shining version. And that's okay. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. You know, they invest a lot of money into these molds, so they gotta they gotta keep pumping them out as much as they as they can, right? Man, the tape is very clear on this side. Mm. That one is not as nice of a smell. It smells like uh, wet paint that you, you know, you, you used half the can and then you put the lid back on and you put the lid on too tight and then when you take the lid off, there was so much more air in the can that the gases build up and they release very suddenly and it's, it gives you like a little headache. Yeah. So this is new. The original Leo Convoy didn't come with a Cybertron Buster. But this is a masterpiece toy, right? It's supposed to be new and better and this is Leo Holder. Holds the missiles, supposedly. The missiles are very, very tiny. Very tiny. Oh, something fell out. Oh, just a little piece of plastic. Just a little piece of plastic to hold the tail in because you need that in a box that doesn't have a window. So a lot of companies, third-party companies mostly, and there's been some Takara Tomy stuff, come with these little plastic uh, coverings, right? That's to prevent uh, like paint rubbing off during shipping. Uh, for there to be any chips, 
and the paint, you know, it protects, basically protects this from this part rubbing against it. They want it to be in good condition for you when you get it. All right, so just quickly looking at him, he does kind of look like Kimba the White Lion. Two points, if you know who that is. Know your history. Kimba the White Lion. He's the bravest little lion cub in Africa. Kimba. Simba. Oh, I mean Kimba, not Simba. So just taking a quick glance, it looks like he has a very similar style of transformation to his Beast Wars 2 counterpart. And there's nothing wrong with that. So let's try and transform him without instructions. That was one of my favorite things to do as a little kid. And it wasn't until I was like a teenager in high school where I discovered the right way to transform Astro Train. I'm like, oh, those legs come out. Oh. Been playing with them wrong for the last couple years. So, let's see. It's been a while since I've transformed the actual Leo Convoy, but this was supposed to spin, right? Okay, that does that is supposed to come off. That is supposed to come off. There's another little piece of plastic here to protect protect the hair. He's got the other face. So this is the Kimba face. And this is the Voltron face. Bum 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 bum. You know what? I don't often transform things on the show, but I'm really digging this one. Oh, this seems, all right. Started off looking like it was very similar in design to the original Beast Wars Neo, a Beast Wars 2 version, uh, but we're in a different place. I like what's going on here. I like what's happening. Some pretty good engineering on this. You know, it also helps when you know like what the figure is supposed to look like in robot mode. And it's not like a new figure and you're trying to guess like, oh, does this does this go here or does that should there? Like, you know, you know what he looks like. And uh, that helps in doing a blind transformation. Blind transformation is when you try to transform a figure for the first time without looking at the instructions. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right, that's not cheating. I'm, I'm just gonna look at the picture to see, see where we are. All right, so the crotch is there, right? And then the, the abs come down. All right, okay. So the abs come down. Oh, there's a little matrix. It does not light up, that's unfortunate. But it's got a lot of nice detail in there. And then I would assume that the sides come up. I assume correctly. Ba 
but I wonder. I wonder. Does this go in ya? Yeah. That really happy with the engineering on this. I think you gotta you gotta kind of mess with it the first time to 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 get where you're at. But again, knowing exactly how he's supposed to look helps tremendously. Only problem is these. Are a little low. Sure, there's a trick to get these in there. Something I'm missing. Ha! Wow, that that is that is tricky to get that head in there. That's an awesome transformation. Wow, you know, every now and again, you, you get a nice surprise and it's like, oh wow, this, this, is, uh, this is a piece of fine art. That's how you can look at these sometimes, as wonderful pieces of fine art. And just because I'm an old man in his 40s, early 40s, 41, not even 41 and a half, doesn't mean that these are just for kids my age. No, these are for kids of any ages, boys and girls. There is no reason why. So I, I have at least two kids that I know of. I, I have uh, Casey and Maddie. And uh, so both girls, and I try to teach them to play on both sides of the aisle. And what that means is that there's usually the pink aisle, and then there's the boys' aisle, which tends to be more technicolor. So I always tell them. You can play with anything you want. You can play with any, not my toys, but you know, if they want to play with He-Man, if they want to play with Barbie, if they want to play with Jem, it's fine. They can play with whatever they want to play with. Now I am stuck here. I just, I know this goes down somehow. It's just, it's just weird. This is the only weird part. It's just like a weird, it's a, it's a weird piece. This is a weird piece right here. never seen a piece like that and I think I might have gotten it yep I think there we go close close but no cigar but we're close so boy I am really really happy with this tail goes in here, that part goes up. You know what they're missing? They're missing the original writing of the original figure on there. Daddy. Yeah, Maddie. Come on. Yeah, come on down. I'm playing with Leo Convoy. And I'll show you are going to show me what you found? Okay. So here comes Maddie, and I, I want to see what she thinks about Leo Convoy. I found this in my room. Oh, you found that in... 
in your room. Yeah. Oh, it's my, it's my pump. My, how did that get there? Oh, oh, it's not mine. I swear, it's not mine. Uh, hey, what do you think? Of, I mean, it's not transformed all the way. What is it? What do you think? Hold them. Who um, does that look like? It looks like Maximus. Like Optimus, yeah. It looks like Optimus. That's Leo Convoy. I call him like Maximus. Maximus. Well, he is a Maximal. What do you think of this toy? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? With that conditioner? No, that's, that's for, um, you know, we wash our hands a lot. So um, Daddy's hands and his feet get very dry. Okay. Yeah. And uh, let's see. No, wait, hang on. All right. So here we are. Maddie is playing with Leo Convoy. Hello. Um, look, his bra opens up. <laughs> just like Mommy's bra. And there's something special in it, just like Mommy's bra. Mommy's brother doesn't open. Uh, well, does for me. Okay. All right, so let's cut the tape. So remember, wear your mask. Put your mask on. Put your mask on. Remember, wear your mask. Wash your hands. And what do we have to do? Uh, brush our teeth. Brush it. Or we get cavities. I already have a cavity. Yeah, she, yeah she's six and she's got a cavity. <laughs> and it's going to be like $5,000. Thanks. Thanks. A little money pit. All right, stay safe. Wash your hands. And remember, bye. cut the tape. Cut, cut the tape. Cut the tape. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Cut the tape.